Hey everybody, this is Steve from Flight Brothers and I'm back here with the uh, ZMR X210 and I'm ready to get started building. So I'm going to go right ahead. Now I'm going to go and do the two bottom plate design. So I'm actually going to sandwich my arms between the two bottom plates. And before I get to the point of doing the arms, I'm going to go ahead and use the longer screws for the bottom that it came with. And I'm going to get the four millimeter spacers that it came with all put on to one of the bottom plates that'll serve as the very bottom. And then I'll get the arms put on and the, top, and the plate on top of that sandwich together. So I'm going to start with that. Okay, so I've gotten all of my standoffs put on, my 4mm standoffs. They are threaded, so you do have to put the screws through and then thread those down on there. But the nice thing is, is that's going to hold those screws on there for me while I get the arms put on. So the next step is to get the uh, screws put through all these holes here and set the arms down through those. So one thing I'm noticing right away, it's really not a big deal, but I'm kind of picky, so um, is that it only comes with exactly enough screws to do your build. And I usually, you know, I'd prefer, what would it cost? You know, a few, a few more cents to have a couple extra screws just in case something happened to strip one or something like that. It'd be nice to have a couple extra screws included, but uh, not the case with this one. Not the biggest deal in the world, but would be nice. All right, so I got all my screws in. You can see the fit was very nice. All of those screws went right up through those holes in the arm very nicely. So I'm pretty pleased with that so far. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get the t next uh, plate sandwiched on top of this, and then we gotta get the other parts put on. All right, the next thing I'm gonna need is these bits here which as I explained in the unboxing and as you can see in the pictures of the build on the website these here act both as the nuts for the screws that hold the arms on and they also act as the standoff for the PDB and the flight controller. I have got confirmation these are aluminum I heard, I heard that from fpmodel.com and because they're aluminum when we do put our PDB on we're going to use these nice spacers here to make sure that the PDB is insulated from the aluminum so it's nice that it came, came with those in foresight and then it also came with the nylon standoffs for the flight controller on top of that so I'm going to see if I can get all these screwed in All right, I got those four pieces screwed in. You can see them there nicely. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the center piece in, which is a basically a big piece of aluminum with four threaded holes that line up with there. Okay, so I've got all four of those standoffs put on, get that middle piece screwed in, and that pretty much completes the bottom half of the build. Now I could go ahead and put these standoffs on, but since we had these threaded four millimeter standoffs in between the two pieces, I don't really see much of a point in going ahead and doing that yet because they'll just get in the way when I'm putting on my electronics and things like that. So I'm going to leave them off for now and go ahead and start putting on some electronics and then I'll install those later. So let's move on to that. Alright, so I'm about to put the electronics on. 
and I actually pulled a set of electronics off of another build that I had that I'm going to use for this one. So I'm just going to be throwing the PDB with all of the motors and ESCs already attached, ready to go onto this frame. And I'm just going to screw all the motors in and then get the PDB in place and screw it in as well. And then we'll kind of see how we're looking from there at what I might need to adjust. So that's where we're going to start like that. Here we go. Okay, I've got my four motors on here, ESCs, which I'm going to go ahead and wrap with silicone tape in a little while once I'm done with the build. Everything's wired up. The next thing I'm going to do is attach my receiver and also uh, see about getting the camera mounted in here and also run my ESC wires. It's not the neatest thing in the world to do this, but uh, the flight controller that I have, uh, this is a thin Ditone Thin Naze 32, which has all of these plugs on it and the wires that come off of it. So that's why you see all these white plugs around. And this one here has the power going into the flight controller and then it also has these yellow wires that come out that are the signal wires for the ESCs. So to use those I've just shortened the signal wires really short coming off of the ESCs and I'm gonna try and neatly run those yellow wires around so they're not too much of a mess coming off of there and try and make that as neat as I can and then just plug the nays all in once I'm ready. So we'll see what I can do about that. All right, so this little guy right here is my receiver. I've been a long time Turnigy 9X user and I was really excited to see this come out. It is a tiny little uh, PPM FlySky 9X receiver. It works wonderfully. I've already used it on, on the former build that this, these electronics are coming off of. And uh, it's it's really a nice little unit. I'm really excited to keep using it. it takes up such little space. It weighs next to nothing. Uh, the only thing I had to do with it was add my own little piece of coax to be an antenna. But other than that, works really great. So I'm going to mount that on the back of my quad here. And I like to do it very easily. I'm just going to mount it right here with a piece of black Velcro strap. And then I actually always use a bamboo skewer for support for my antennas. I just cut a piece off that's just about the right length and I'm gonna heat shrink tube that to the aluminum standoff that goes on the back there. And uh, then it'll be all ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, and with that, I got my receiver antenna all attached. And when the top plate goes on, it's just going to be sitting off the back like that. So that'll be nice and secure, sticking up pretty good off the top. 
ready to go. So next I'm going to try and get those receiver, uh, ESC wires run. Okay, I've gone ahead and got all of my ESC wires plugged in. Just used a little shrink wrap to shorten them up and uh, clean them up a little bit. And they're all going to this plug, which will plug right into the nays once I get it in. So one of the last things I need to do before I plug the nays in is I need to hook my battery lead up to the PDB. I have not done that yet because I was not exactly sure the length and how I wanted to go about it. All right, so I got my new battery lead soldered up onto an XD connector a little bit longer, and I had some of this uh, mesh wire sleeve laying around that's black, and I thought it'd just look nice since there's such a black theme going on here. I went in and threw that on there too. I'm going to go ahead and get that soldered onto my PDB, and then just a camera and VTX away from having a finished quad. All right, so battery lead soldered on, and I'm going to look into how I'm going to mount my VTX on here. Now, they did include a rubber grommet that I think goes in this hole or somewhere here, and you can mount your VTX somehow that way, but I prefer to do it a little different, so I'm going to do my best to do it the way I like on this. So I have the antenna already on my transmitter here. And I noticed these two holes here are just about perfect for a zip tie. And whenever I put a VTX on a frame, I like to zip tie right around this connector because it's very common that when you get in a crash and you rip on the antenna that this connector will rip right off of the VTX. So I find that if you can somehow secure a zip tie around that connector like that, that it actually keeps that from breaking off. And it's uh, very rare that I have an instance where that happens. So I'm actually going to use these two slots for a zip tie to go around that connector on there. And then if I have room for it, and I think I do, I think I'm going to put another zip tie around the frame here to hold this in place, or maybe even a Velcro, uh, maybe even a Velcro strap if I can fit it. And then uh, that doesn't leave much room here for the battery lead to come through, so I am going to have the battery lead slip up through this little slot here instead. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that now. All right, so I went actually with three zip ties on my VTX here, one on the connector, one on the antenna, one on the VTX. So that's in place. That'll sit here and this connector will go right into the side of it there. And the last thing I have to do is put my flight controller on and get my camera on and I'll be ready to go. So I'm going to get working on that. Okay, I'm going to get the camera installed here, uh, but first I'm going to actually get all of the standoffs put on here. So I'm going to go ahead and mount my camera. This is a pretty much typical HS1177, but this is a pyro drone version. I really like buying the cameras from pyro drone because he has ones with the top connector on them and when you're tilting the camera it's really nice to be able to have that top connector so you're not fighting with the base of the quad down here you can get it plugged in really easily up top so that's why I like the pyro drone version and uh, that's what I'm going with and this is going to be able to screw directly into that mount just like that and be able to pivot it however I want it's really great I'm actually really pleased with the fact that they included this camera mount on there because it makes it really easy for the use of this camera. So I'm going to go ahead and get that set up. <clears throat> Alright, got my camera mounted in there. 
screws in tightened down so this thing you know I can move it with some effort but it's gonna stay in whatever angle I put it in and it's gonna be nice and secure and protected in there which is pretty awesome I'm really digging that camera mount that is pretty awesome all right next up one thing that I forgot I'm gonna go ahead and figure out now is my buzzer that's gonna connect right into this connector and I'm gonna have to figure out where I want to mount that so I'm gonna work on that next all right so I got the buzzer on with just a little shrink tube around one of the standoffs and the wires run into the connector and that was the last piece that needed to go in for this build before I put the top plate on and I'll be finished up so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now here we go And there you have it, a nice, clean ZMR210X frame build from FPVModel.com. Really looks nice. I'm really pleased with how that turned out. I just got to secure the ESCs to the arms there. I'm going to get some of that silicone tape. Uh, but other than that, boy, it just it looks really sharp. Looks nice, got plenty of room for a lot of angle if you want it on that camera. And uh, boy, I'm really excited to get this out in the air. So thanks for watching my build video, hope you liked it. I'm gonna plan on getting some flight videos up soon and uh, see what this thing's capable of. Thanks a lot for watching, and of course, like, share, and subscribe. Catch you next time.